Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 320 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade the RAM for this model. This applies for any IdeaPad 320 series so it doesn't matter if you don't get the last three digit models. As long as the IdeaPad 320 this video is for you guys. The tools that you're going to be needing, it's a really simple tools. It's an opening tool. I use the guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick for opening tools. And you will need a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I use the iFixit tool set, which they have all the bits that you need. They are really hardened bit, and these are S2 class metals. We're going to be using Phillips number zero from this tool set. All right. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. To completely don't hibernate or anything just make sure it shuts down completely the next thing is flip it over upside down and now we're going to start removing all the screws that you see on the bottom cover every single one all the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them so just go ahead and remove all the screws and again i just want to take a moment to Ask you guys if you guys like my videos and if my video is helping you guys, please think about subscribing or clicking the thumbs up button. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests and answer your questions. It's a really big help. Even the two screws in the middle, go ahead and remove those two. We need once you remove this one here, there's a little logo for the CD logo. That means this is for this caddy right here. So pull it off. You must you might have a DVD RAM, but this one is like empty caddy. All right, next is to grab the opening tool that you have. And you want to open up the laptop a little bit, just a tiny bit. You want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. About two or three millimeters, just like that. Now what you want to do, you just want to wiggle it around, just move all around, go to the sides, go to this side and just wiggle around. You want to hear those clicks to the left and right side. All right, once you did the left and right and the front, you just put it down and lift up from the front side and bring it up. And um, with a little bit of wiggling, it will just come out. You can go ahead and clean up the bottom cover if you want. Now, we have the whole inside. These models, I don't know. They have a small CPU. They don't have a fan on them, but it would have been a really nice feature to have a fan in here. The board is designed for many other versions with a GPU, which is not installed, and many other components. This is the basic version, I guess. All right, the RAM is right under this cover here. To remove the cover, you just want to grab it from corners like that and just pull it up towards the ceiling and it will come out. You do not need to remove the battery to do this process or people are like, you must remove the battery. There's no need. I've been doing this more than 14 years. There's no power going to the, uh, what's called, RAM dims nor to the hard drive at the moment. So you can simply work on it and upgrade. So regarding the RAM, to remove it, you want to pull these two triggers apart away from each other. Go ahead and pull these two triggers apart and the RAM will come out, just pop out in 45 degree angle, just like that. Once the RAM is in, out in 45 degree angle, you want to grab it from the sides and you want to pull it out in 45 degree angle. You do not want to pull it up towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna break the jack and the contact, even the RAM. So always pull it out in the same direction that it came out, so in the same direction, all right? Once this is a four gig DDR3 RAM, I'll leave the link in the description for eight gig versions if you want. There's only one RAM dim available here. Even if your task manager says one out of two, it will say one out of two anyway, so that doesn't mean you have two RAM dims. So once you have the new RAM dim in, you want to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM dim. 
and you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle just like that and you want to slide it all the way to the contact and push it from the center or from the side towards the motherboard and you should be able to hear two triggers right there if you don't hear those two triggers or the triggers stays open that means your ram is not all the way in once you got the ram in there you want to grab the cover and the cover only goes one way here so you see this little dent right here is for the screw hole right here so it goes around the screw hole match it on top make sure it's right over the clippers these clippers right here the three of them has to grab from these corners so align it on top and push it towards the motherboard and that's it now the last thing is for those people that they are like really paranoid and they want to remove the battery to remove the battery you just have to pull this jack backward these cables you have to pull it backward if you cannot move pull it backward remove one two three screws and the battery will come out just pull it back and the jack would get released i made another video how to remove the battery how to replace it you can watch my other videos all right and the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover it's very important to put the hinge side these corners down first make sure it goes on behind the hinges go down and push it down right here you want to push this side down so make sure you don't clicks now you want to go all around and push it towards the screen and you should be able to hear those clicks all right and to finish it up grab the caddy place it in there slide it and go ahead and put all the screws on the bottom cover all right and that will be all that's how you upgrade your ram and i really hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe i really appreciate it and again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm just gonna finish putting all this back together